Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, I have been on the move for a while now. Quite a while. I've already been to Oklahoma. I am back in Arkansas now. I'm probably about an hour away from the house. Brought old Domino with me today. And as you can see, Uber's back. I'm as happy as a puppy would do. Beep. Yeah, uh, we ain't got that this morning. It's been a rainy, rainy morning, guys. Uh, I got the trailer and everything loaded last night and ready to go. That way I didn't have to deal with it this morning. And I could actually get a little bit more sleep instead of getting up at the butt booty crack of dawn. How come every time I start talking, you get all up in my business? All up in my business. And, uh... So, yep, got up this morning, probably about 8 o'clock, and I uh, got on the road. Headed to pick up the tractor, and of course it was raining whenever I got there. And I uh, had to load it in the rain. But it's all right. You're heavy. You're heavy. That and uh, stopped and had breakfast just now. They made me some pancakes, guys, like this big. And two of them with eggs and sausage. I just ordered like the pancake uh, breakfast or whatever they didn't tell me that the pancakes were like nine pounds a piece big old pancakes and uh she said you want to take them with you i was like no i don't need to eat no more of that i'm good so what do you think about the trip domino how's your trip been oh domino i let him out at the mahindra dealer normally he hangs right around with me right by the trailer but today he decided that he was going to go into Mahindra and go hang out with everybody. So he took off and somebody opened up the door for him over there at uh, the front door. And he just hung out with all the sales reps and uh, parts people and all of that stuff while I was loading up Uber. Huh? Went and made some new friends, didn't you? They all love Domino there. They watch him on the uh, channel. So... They're familiar with him, and they got to meet him last time when I dropped off Uber. But, uh, man, I'm excited about having Uber back. I wish the weather wasn't so bad. I've got to unload Uber when I get home and have the trailer empty again because Sunday I'm going right back to Oklahoma to MT Homesteads, and we're going to do a trailer swap. I'm going to swap my trailer out for his, and I'm going to bring all those windows back. But I am glad that I got Uber back to be able to help me unload all of that stuff. And then at some point, I got to take the tractor over to uh, the 41.36. And uh, I want to work on their driveway some to help smooth that out a little bit. And while I'm there, I'm going to put the forks on it and uh, load that pallet of concrete up that we unloaded over, the, over there and uh, load it back on the trailer with Uber and that way I can uh, unload it back on from on mountain by myself but yeah really that's about all that's going on today I do got to stop by the bank you got to do a little bit of banking stuff I'm going to drop off some paperwork there so I'm going to hit that on the way through I pass right by it that's why I chose today to get that done so yeah there's a lot of traveling a lot of traveling's got to happen and after I get done with the uh Oklahoma trip being that I'm leaving my trailer there to get loaded up with more materials I'll have to make another Oklahoma trip next week sometime and then I'm going to try to schedule my trip to Mississippi so I got a lot of stuff to do before the meetup plus I got a lot of stuff to do at the cabin before the meetup before my family and stuff gets here so it's about to be wide open wide open for me but I got one of the big tools back right there behind me. They cleaned it up. They gave it a service and it ended up being the fuel rail and sensor. So they got all that. And when I crank Uber up this time, you can, when I give it gas, you can tell that Uber's got the power back because I would say Uber probably only had about half the power that it normally did with that uh, fuel sensor issue. And I don't know what caused it, honestly. I put diesel in it uh, when I was working on uh, 
cutting the driveway for the drifters lane there way before they got their shouts and all that stuff back there is when we was just cutting the drive back there is whenever uber started having all those issues so uber was able to finish uh their driveway plus clear out the landing and do all the work to get the shouts delivered down there and a couple of odds and ends things there on come on mountain all at about half power I don't know if old Blue could have did that to come out. Uh, spoke with him this morning too. He's still sick, man. I'm feeling bad for my buddy. He's uh, got the whole knee issue going on and he's been sick and just uh, I'm trying to get him to come out to the mountain before his surgery. He wants to come out one more time and hang out. So we'll see if we can make that happen. If not, I'll stop in and see him when I go to Mississippi to go over there to C3 Mississippi and go pick up some things there. <sighs> yeah. These long trips like this, they get me thinking uh, about all kinds of stuff that I got to do and everything else. And it's just like, wow, I've got a lot to do. Domino's got him a little cover over here in the seat. So he's going back over there to snuggle up and sleep. He was all being all grouchy this morning. Not really. Domino's never grouch you. He was being a little bit hard-headed at the old Mahindra dealer, though. A little bit. I don't think he wanted to leave from all the snuggles. So, I had to put the leash on him. And, uh, he's not a great, huge fan of the leash. He, uh, he does all right on it, but when he gets hard-headed and he don't want to come, then he'll try to back off of it and try to get his collar to come off and stuff because his head's smaller than his neck. Yep. You got a little peanut head and a big old thick neck, don't you? But I enjoy bringing Domino with me. It helps uh, pass the time a little bit, especially on these long trips. Even though this one ain't too bad. This was only about an hour and a half each way, so about a three hour trip. And then, you know, plus all the stopping and stuff like that. The trip Sunday will be three hours each way each way and uh so that's six hours driving by itself so that's a little bit more and i'll be making that one by myself as well so that'll be a long trip but uh i'm sure domino is going to be going with me and uh we'll sit there and listen to some good music and uh make it happen i just seen my son texting me this morning he's up early i have to call and check on him whenever i get off here yeah, but not a lot going on, guys. The big news is is that Uber is right there on the back of the trailer. And uh, I've already been on the move and loaded tractors and everything else before some people's even got out of bed this morning. But it's a rainy day. It's a gloomy day. It's a good day to kind of get this type of stuff done. The weather's not going to be great, guys, for a couple of days. I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And uh, I got a... Uh, my son just texted me again, sorry. I gotta uh, make a phone call with one of you guys about the boat. Uh, we're gonna do some testing and stuff on the boat tomorrow um, because they're gonna be here at the beginning of April to work on the boat, try to get the boat going. So, yeah, that's about it. It's gonna be a short one today, guys. Don't really got a lot going on, a lot to share. Just the big news of Uber is on the trailer and headed back to Come On Mountain. And it is time to put her to work. There will be a lot of tractor videos coming soon. Uh, I also put a video out on Come On Homestead yesterday. Go check that out. Uh, also did a Keeping It Real yesterday with the kiddos. Um, that was a real cool one. The trip with the kiddos yesterday went amazing. Uh, we ended up at Dairy Queen. It was kind of the best kind of all-in-one kind of situation you know they got all the ice cream plus they got burgers and chicken strips and all of that uh, we decided not to do Chinese but the kids loved it uh, me and Jacob got banana splits and Serenity and Tyler got these brownie ice cream cup things or whatever really good really good but they had fun definitely proud of the kiddos for making good grades 
they know that Uncle David's all about that education. Education. Um, so I try to reward them whenever they work hard and make good grades and stuff like that. I'm a big advocate for learning and uh, pushing yourself to really do good and to go, go above and beyond just the getting by, you know, putting that effort in. That's why I don't want to reward C's or anything like that because that's just barely getting by. I like to see you work hard and uh, try to achieve great things. So A's and B's. A's and B's get you ice cream trips and fun adventures and stuff with Uncle David. So proud of the guys. Proud of uh, the kids. They, they, they've they been grinding. They've been grinding hard. All the kids up here actually really do good in school. So that makes me very, very happy. All right, guys, I, the GPS is about to start yelling at me again, but I love every single one of y'all. I hope y'all having an amazing day. Do something nice for somebody today. Take another step to your goals, and we'll see you tomorrow. Keep it real. Come on.